here we go. They rush it to the other end. McDaniel, boy, he needed that. Trying to get a set. Alton Lister fumbles it away, gets it back. Ten on the shot clock. That's for three. In Washington, worked under three different head coaches there. Jordan. Air Jordan. First time tonight. Rebound. Oakley fumbles it away. It's recovered by McMillan. Ahead to McDaniel for the dunk. And it's a one-point Chicago lead. Chicago has the ball. Down low. Sellers from Jordan. Third over. Sonics. And there is Vincent Michael Jordan. The clock will see if it does any good. It only takes really one second to pull the trigger. McDaniel does that. Xavier McDaniel. McDaniel got off to a great start. He had a nice soft touch, though. Suckers is decked by McDaniel, who just keeps on keeping off and gets the turnaround McDaniel. foul line jump. Well, that started out with the weather in the winter, and it wasn't pimping. Watch out. Mr. Jordan. And keeping people away from them and uh, making it real tough to catch up with them. Jordan inside. That's Jordan there. Now Sparrow, Grant, Sellers, and Paxson all hurting for Chicago, and they only have an 11 man rest. That's a shot that Jordan has been reluctant to take, but he gets that one off the glass. He's got 22. Jordan posts down low, but doesn't get the hoop, or he doesn't. He gets another shot at it with a left hand. Great move. Polaroid Spectra System. Hold the picture in your hand while the feeling is still in your heart. Well, Michael Jordan is a player who can put the feeling in your heart. A beautiful left hand drive inside, and that's a pretty play for any player. Michael Jordan. Pitcher perfect. Chicago needs a hoop here. Jordan, no okay. game. Sparrow got in the ball. Four Chambers, and they come back to McMillan against the clock. Shot McDaniel puts it down. Who's out of there with it? And McDaniel, he loves the baseline, but it won't go, and Jordan the rebound. No time out for Chicago. They know what they want to do. Well, it's the sixth play again, only this time they'll get Grant involved. Jordan splits the defense. He's got 31. Bernie Bickerstaff with play and strength. Great pass down low. Oakley, no whistle. Two on one break. McDaniel takes it himself. Out of the Foul Jordan. They can tie it at the line. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Time out, Seattle. First, they got to get it in, and they just barely do. And Ellis made a good pass to McDaniel. He got it with one second left. Chicago calls timeout. Boy, a great pass by Ellis. Everybody thought he was going to shoot it. He got it back to McDaniel, and he drilled it with one second remaining in regulation. Let's look again. Oh, McDaniel was one for one tonight and been struggling, but again, we talk about the guy that's willing to step up to Chambers fumbles, gets it back. X-Man, just a little bit inside where he hit the last one, but he said, hey. Well, again, he's a player that's going to create something, and the defense is stacked against him. He comes with a tough hand. 35 for Jordan. And the Sonics call timeout. And Michael Jordan has always been a player that relishes a big moment. And if you're the defense, you got to think, keep the ball out of his hands. He makes a great jumping jump. They get a good shot, and they use all of the clock. They got a good shot, but he missed it. Oakley the rebound. And now Oakley and Chambers begin to bang at one another. And Horace Grant, among others, acts as a peacemaker. And they get it to Ellis against the double team. Out top, knocked away. Time wait. There's the game. Jordan, a little icing. He's got 39. 3, 2, 1. It's 
it's over. A devastating loss for the Sonics. A must win for Chicago. 104-97 is our final score in overtime. The Bulls win it, and we'll be back with our player of the game right after this. Zips it back outside. The ball loose. McDaniel had it stolen by Jordan. Michael's got to break away. This game is over. Fund in the name of Brad Sellers, and I'm sure some fans are saying, why not Michael Jordan? Well, Michael Jordan made all the big plays, but Jordan had a tough time from the field tonight, and without the efforts of Brad Sellers early in the contest, Jordan would have been around for the heroics at the end. All right, 104-97, Chicago in overtime. That's the final.